My Line. Brought to you by Pronto Push Button Care. New from Johnson Wax. The push button foam that cleans and shines floors dries in five minutes. Pronto. And now let's all play What's My Line? our What's My Line panel. First, the delightful star of stage and television, Miss Arlene Francis. And now a gentleman who has just returned from a triumphant tour in The Odd Couple. Here is the oddest part, Henry Morgan. It's my pleasure to introduce a young lady who is a news correspondent, is very pretty, has a show here in New York on WCBS TV called Two for One, Miss Joan Murray. And the gentleman who will be seated to my immediate left needs no introduction. He seems to fit every conceivable adjective. The indescribable Mr. Bennett Surf. Indescribable. <laughs> well, if our panel moderator is in a bit of a tizzy tonight, he just read in the paper this morning that a girl in nationalist China had inherited 10 million yen. And he said that was his idea of a Chinese fortunate cookie. And that's what we're up against with John Daly, who will now enter. <laughs> Must be the August heat. I guess that's all we can say about that. Miss Murray, it's nice to welcome you for the first time to What's My Line. And I Thank you. hope you enjoy the half hour. Needless to say, we'll do what we can to make it interesting for you. Henry, nice to see you again Thank you, John. in a familiar place. Hi, Miss Arlene. How are you? Hi there. Well, good. Boys. Now that all the civilities have been done, we've got some very tough ones for you tonight, I think. We'll also have a mystery guest before the panel a little bit later in the program, but let's meet our first contestant. Will you enter and sign in, please? Joan Gordon, right, ma'am? Uh, Is it Miss or Mrs. Gordon? It's Miss. Miss Gordon, where are you from? Miami, Florida. Miami, Florida? Yes. Oh, it's nice to, to see uh, somebody up here bringing the weather with them, so to speak. Very good of you to come. May I present the panel? Now, will you join me over here, please, ma'am? And we'll let the uh, audience in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. <laughs> All right, panel, we can tell you that Miss Gordon is salaried and deals in a service. And we'll begin things with uh, Henry Morgan. Uh, Miss Gordon... The fact that you deal in a service makes me wonder whether Miami is anything of a clue, is it? No. One down and nine to go, Miss Murray. <laughs> Wonderful. Miss Gordon, can both men and women avail themselves of your service? Yes. Do you require special training to do what you do? Yes. Would I be better off mentally or physically if I availed myself of whatever it is you do? Well, you could be, and then you couldn't be. It would depend pretty much on how things came out. I think I'd better pass. I don't know. Mr. Sir? Uh, Miss Gordon, do you perform your valuable services for a non-profit making organization? Uh, no. Two down and eight to go, Ali. Do people come to you for your services, Miss Gordon? Yes. Do you work indoors? Sometimes. Do you wear something other than 
regulation clothes in your job? No. Two down, three down, seven to go, Mr. Morgan. Gee whiz, all we know is that you uh, work for money and in an ordinary dress. <laughs> um, when people come to you, had they seen possibly an advertisement of what you do, for what you do? Yes. This could be, it's not re required, but they could have done. The uh, contact could have been made through an advertisement, yes. That's all I asked, John. Yeah. Well, I just didn't want you to think that was mandatory, you know. I, d I really didn't want to start up. I just wanted to ask a simple thing. But if there were an ad in the paper, you know, you yeah. tried. Um, now I forgot what I was talking about, you see. You straighten out her answer and, and ruin my... Uh, Miss Gordon, when you do this uh, service for the people who come to you, do you um, touch them in any way? No. Four down and six to go, Miss Murray. Is what you do physical? Well, there's a certain amount of physical activity involved in it, but this does not rule out uh, mental activity, too. Do you have customers that come to you? Would they be considered customers? That's a very broad word. Uh, Miss Joan, you know, I, I would say some people would say customers, others might say clients. It pretty much depends on what uh, semantics you're Is there any exchange to. of money? Yes. I mean, is, is, you were here asking, is Miss Gordon's, are Mrs. Miss Gordon's services paid for? In yes. any context, yes. Is what you do expensive to have done? Oh, well, uh, sometimes. Everything's relative in this best of possible worlds. Is it over, say, $25? Yes. Would I avail myself of your services? Maybe. Do you think that I should? <laughs> <laughs> I think we have to answer that no, don't you? No. No. <laughs> five down and five to go, Mr. Sir. Well, unless uh, Mr. Daly, as is his wont, is leading us up the garden path, does that answer mean that... Uh, when you're finished performing your service, the people who are availing themselves of it are possibly more fashionable looking or better looking or healthier looking? No. No. Nope. Not at all? No. Nope. Not a bit. Six down and four to go, Miss Francis. When you are pursuing your work, uh, does it help you to observe very carefully? Does yes. observance have a lot to do with your job? Yes. Is there anything to do with detecting in your job? Yes. Could you possibly be a private detective of some sort? <laughs> oh, oh, very, very good. Very good. Congratulations, panel. I turned the cards all over because uh, you deserve that recognition, and I'm sure Miss Gordon does too. Miss Gordon is a private detective with. Uh, Balletti Investigations, Inc., yeah. right? Yeah. Found out anything right. good lately? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, works on, among other things, collecting bad checks so that if oh. anybody feels the need of uh, <laughs> services, why? Miss Gordon, wasn't the governor of Florida mixed up with some private... Didn't he have with some private detectives working for him at the start of his... Uh, yes, he still uh, has. You don't do any of that? Um, well, Mr. Balletti does. The, the, the detective agency I work with. Isn't that rather unusual for the governor of the state to have a detective agency working? Depends pretty much on the customs and traditions of the state and what the <laughs> statutes of the state will permit, Bennett. And uh, I must say that I'm, I, I think Mr. Blady should be congratulated on having such attractive operatives. Well, thank thank you. you very much, ma'am. Nice to see you. contestant in just a moment after this word. And now to meet our next contestant, will you enter and sign in, please? Ingrid Twin. Right, ma'am? Miss or Mrs. Twin? Mrs. Mrs. Twin, where are you from? Colorado Springs. Colorado Springs? Yes. Oh, that's lovely country out there. Yes. Air Force Academy is right nearby, yes. right? Mm -hmm. I've been out there and it's a wonderful country. Nice of you to come to New York. 
Thank Mrs. You. Twin, may I present the panel? Hello, Mrs. Twin. Hi. And now, will you join me over here, please? <laughs> and we'll let the audience at home and the audience in the theater know exactly what your line is. Well, we can tell you that Mrs. Twin is salaried and deals in a product, and we'll begin things with uh, Arlene Francis. Thank you, John. Mrs. Twin, is it a product that any of us on the panel might use? Yes. Uh, would our friends, if they saw us using it, giggle a little? If the circumstances were such that you wished to utilize this particular product, there'd be no reason for giggling. There'd be no reason for a giggle. If the circumstances were such that you ah, needed yes, to use. Ah, yes, but... Yes. Um, if, uh, if I were to use this product, uh, would I have to be careful? I don't see... Does it require care? care? No. no. One down and nine to go, Mr. Morgan. Mr. Twin, from something that Mr. Daly just said, would it help me to uh, try to find out what the circumstances are? Yes. Yes. Uh, would these circumstances be... Circumstances that happened um, indoors? No. Nope. Two down and eight to go, Miss Murray. Hmm. Is this a product that would, one would use in one's home? No. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Sir. Miss, Mrs. Twin, am I, can I assume you're one of the heavenly twins? Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Twin, would this product be used then in some outdoor activity? Yes. Might it be used in some kind of a sporting or athletic activity? Yes. Would it have anything since Denver is Colorado Springs is so near uh, skiing resorts? Might it be used more in the winter time or in snow than in uh, summertime? No. Four down and six to go, Miss Francis. Is it um, is it a product that ever takes off the ground? specifically in mind when you ask that question? I'm not going to answer you. <laughs> I'm the one that asked the question. <laughs> well, is it a product that one could get into? No. One could get into it, yes. <clears throat> Therefore, it is larger than a bread box. Yes. Yeah, you could get into it. Mm -hmm. It's larger than a bread box? Yes. Is it larger than a wheelbarrow? Well, when it is in such posture as uh, to be gotten into in uh, the total cubic feet available to get into, yes. Uh, would one have this tied in some way to one's person? To if one's one were person? using it? Mm, no. no. Five down and five to go, Mr. Morgan. I was wondering, uh, from what uh, Arlene said, would one ordinarily want to get into this? <laughs> no, one would not. Well, I happen to think it's a very productive question. <laughs> it's a very productive question. I hope it leads places. Miss Murray. Is this product considered a necessity? Uh, well, there are, there's a possibility yes. that it could be necessary, yes. Would anyone on this panel look funny if he took this product and went down the street in it or on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess you would, yeah. Is it a very expensive product? Could it be, would it cost a lot of money, a few hundred dollars? No. No. That's seven down and three to go, Mr. Surf. Mr. Twin, something you said made me believe that possibly this product can be inflated. Uh, <laughs> you said, wait a minute, John. You said something if it's properly, uh, you, you could get into it. I said, if it Does was... that not mean, then, that sometimes it's larger than at other times? No, I just said that the cubic feet of the interior into which one would enter would be larger than the cubic feet in a wheelbarrow. Well, I guess I got to know that. I'm afraid so. That's <laughs> eight down of two to go, Miss Francis. Now, you say it is possible for this to take off the ground. No, we didn't. You asked the question, and we very nicely let you call it back, in effect. We never answered it. Do you want to ask it now? Not after what you just said. <laughs> <I'm afraid. laughs> Does it belong on the ground rather than beneath the ground or in water? 
As against the alternatives offered, I would say yes, wouldn't you? Yes. Yes. Well, uh, is it made of something other than metal? Yes. Is it solid in all ways? Yes. Is it made of rubber or wood? No. That makes it nine down and one to go. I don't know. It's a, oh, stop it, Bennett. I just want to... I, would, I don't care which one. It's my turn. <laughs> I, no, something I must go back over. You said before that it was possible to get inside, and just now you said that it's solid in all ways. Well, it could now, be... Now, there's two... It could be solid in all... It could be like a tire is solid in all ways, but you could get in it. It ain't solid in all ways. Well, it's solid. I want to remind you it, it was something athletic. About. Yeah. That's what I, uh, we, what? We, let that, we let that slide. It was something to do with a game or athletics. Or yes. Sports. Well, if it ever gets, gets up to you again, you do that. You just ran out of time. Do you want to get a guess at it? Hogo sticks. It was funny because you, you didn't get away from human beings. You'd have gotten in the middle of that. Oh, it's horses. an animule. You put it on an animule. You're now, a horse trainer be? or a thief. Well, it horse, it's, horses are involved. Now, what is the product? Saddle. Saddle? No. A barn? A no. A bridle. <laughs> a blanket. Mm. Blanket. <laughs> Actually, Mrs. Twin works for C Bar M Enterprises, yes. Inc., right? That, mm -hmm. sounds, that sounds like Colorado, doesn't it? Yes, and they sir. make, uh, uh, they're one of only two outfits in the United States who make custom fitted blankets for show horses and, and for race horses, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And they, they've got uh, metal in, in the buckles and they have leather fastening. So we could have answered almost anything yeah. yes if you'd just gotten to horses. And I'm sorry about the horse laugh we've just had. And thank you very much for coming <laughs> to see us, Mrs. Twin. We'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just a moment, but first, this message. And now the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery challenger, for which my friends on the panel, as you all know, are blindfolded. Are the blindfolds in place, panel? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Good. Will you enter mystery challenger and sign in, please? Panel, as you know, in this case, we go to a different form of questioning. One question at a time, in turn, moving clockwise, and we'll begin with uh, Bennett Cerf. Well, those wolf whistles from our predictable audience usually denote a pretty girl. Are you a pretty girl? I, uh... Would you believe the audience? Yes. <laughs> Arlene? Are you in motion pictures? Yes. Mr. Morgan? Have you been within uh, recent days um, on Broadway? Mm, would you believe no? One down and nine to go, Miss Murray. Are you considered a leading woman or uh, an ingenue? Well, this has got to be answered yes or no. Are Ms. you considered Murray. an ingenue? Sometimes. Mr. Sir. Uh, are you a big star? agent. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I would say, hey, Bennett, I, I'm not sure what the gradations would be. Certainly, I think that the reception received by the audience would indicate a star of, of uh, substantial magnitude. How's that? <laughs> Arlene? <laughs> Are you married to someone in motion pictures? No. Two oh. down and eight to go, Mr. <laughs> Morgan. This is a terrible thing, but I don't know any other way to answer. Uh, Ask it. Are you um, under twenty-five? Yes. Miss oh, Murray. Good. <laughs> Are you a uh, beautiful blonde? No. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Sir. Uh, if it isn't too personal, have you ever been married to a movie star? Would you believe no? Four down and six to go, Miss Francis. Um. 
Are you originally from the theater? No. Five down and five to go, Mr. Morgan. Are you, um, a girl who appeals, um, equally as much to teenagers as to anybody else? Uh, gee, I, I must say, Henry, I'd like to, you know, like to give you a valid answer. I would say yes now, but I think this, this, um, has to do with, uh, what, how would you feel about it? I would say I hope so. Yeah, I would say yes. Miss Murray? Are you known for your musical talent? Not at all. Six down and four to go, Mr. Sir. Have you been in a picture that has been released within, or is about to be released within the, net, within the past three or four months? Oh, yes. Miss Francis? Are you the daughter of a well-known uh, star? Would you believe? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Seven down and three to go, Henry. Do you play comedy? Yes. Miss Murray? I think I have an idea who it is oh. because I was walking down Fifth Avenue yesterday and I think I bumped into her on the street. Is it Jill St. John? <laughs> Very good. We thought, you know, because actually Jill arrived late today. Yes. And we thought, by golly, uh, we'll have we'll give him a real best of trouble, and we you give it you a real best of trouble. From a bump. From a bump. I'm, I'm sure. I think I. You were with another movie star. Yes. So there now, uh, eight on the lamb was with Bob Hope, which, if, but yes. I think probably your greatest. Uh, tour with Bob Hope was when you went out to oh, Vietnam. Oh, yes, when we went to Vietnam. Right. Bob's and you, marvelous. You've got another picture opening soon. Which yes, is... Banning with another Bob, another favorite of mine, Bob Wagner. Ah, so... You know, haven't you just made a picture recently with Frank Sinatra down in Florida? That's right, in Miami. It's called Tony Rome with Frank Sinatra. You'll be making a lot of pictures, but we had you where we wanted you because nothing was so immediate that you could immediately move and catch Jill on the basis of what... Uh, was but happening I right at this to moment. You. You came you're pretty always close. So good. No, but Jill, look where we got them. We got them up to seven down and three to go. Well, what's ten down and there we go now? Well, good deal and, and uh, nice of you to give us a, a Sunday night. And I, was uh, so I hope pleased all to those two. We got five pictures that haven't been released yet, That's and right. I hope all five are big successes. Oh, thank you very and much. Thanks very much for coming. With you. I will hope that, I think it was you, Miss Joan, who asked if we had a beautiful blonde. You will agree it was a beautiful redhead and not yes. a beautiful blonde, so that I was all right in that one. All righty. Well, I think on balance we'll have to agree that with a lot of tough contestants you've done rather well so far tonight, we'll offer congratulations, and we'll all be back after this word. Well, again, Miss Murray, it's nice. I hope you've enjoyed your first visit to I have my indeed. line. I hope Thank that you, you can come back again visit with us. And Henry, good to have you with us. Thank you, John. And uh, good night, Arlene Francis. Good night, John. I'd like to offer my public congratulations to you. Well, thank you. And good night, my dear boy. Good night, my dear lady. Good night, my dear girl. Good night. <laughs> good night, Bennett. John, it was nice to have you with us tonight. Thank you. And it's always nice to be with you, John. I mean that. Good night. That August heat gets to Bennett. Every single time we get to August, he gets soft and kind and generous. And I don't think he's ever really recovered from that trip to the Far East. But we'll bear with him. He'll be his usual old abrasive self very soon. And all will be well. Thank you, Bennett. And thanks to all of you for being with us on What's My Line? What's My Line is a CBS Television Network production in association with Mark Goodson and Bill Cotton. This is Francis Gowan from Bonwit Teller. This is Johnny Olson speaking. Nice program with pre recorded.